in this video I want to show you how you can draw a pie graph on Excel and then come and compare two sets of data okay now I have in the previous video if you have watched my previous video I have compared the height of boys and girls these are the heights of boys and girls of year 9 so we saw how to draw the dot plot and a second graph which is a good graph to compare two sets of data is a pie graph so the first thing that we have to do is to make classes this is called a class so I have grouped uh, this data in different classes so this is the boys height in centimeters from 141 to 150 from 151 to 160 and so on so we'll have to count the number of students the number of boys between 141 and 150 so you can say this is one and two so you type in two there so there are two boys with the height of between sorry between 141 and 150 so now how many boys are there between 151 and 60 so this is one uh, two three so there are three between 151 and 160 so three there now between 161 and 170 so this is the first second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine ten 11, 12, and 13. So there are 13 in this class interval. So you type in 13 there. So now I'll have to see from 171 to 180. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, there are 11, yeah? So that's right. So type in 11 there. And finally, between 181 and 190, there's only one. Okay, now we know the total number of students is 30. Okay, so there are 30 students. So the total of this should also be 30. So this is how you can find the total equal sum bracket. Uh, uh, click on the first and control shift down arrow. So that will highlight the whole data, which is the height of boys and then you close the bracket so okay oh sorry so this is sorry this is I should have this is not the data we want to add this total sorry so this is equal sum bracket and highlight this data this is what I wanted to highlight sorry so this is 30 so we have confirmed so the number of students is 30 so this numbers are right now if you want to find the percentage of student in each class this is how you find the percent so you go equal this cell divided by 30 this dash sign means for divided by 30 and this star key is for times this is times 100 now this is I want to round it to a whole number so you go to this is in, uh, decreasing decimal uh, places. So keep this uh, pressing it till you get a whole number. So this is 7% of the students are between 141 to 150. Okay, now if you click, if you catch the tail and you drag it down, you'll get the percentages. So this is, and then to confirm the total of percentages should be 100. So equal sum bracket, highlight the data close the bracket it's hundred percent so this is fine so I want to center it so highlight the whole thing and go to center okay now I want to draw a, a, a pie graph of this uh, information so you highlight the data including the title and then you go to insert and pie graph and insert it like this so this is the pie graph so I want to make it a bit smaller so that you can see okay okay so yeah this is that the title is the pi graph of year nine students in uh, centimeters okay so that's the title and if you want to make this a bit, bit more exciting click on the graph the graph is highlighted you go to uh, you can also sorry right click 
and uh, add label a data label so that will give you also the number here so there are 13 students so this green between 161 and 170 there are 11 between 171 and 180 so let me if you want to write the person I'll show you how to so write so this is I'll uh, cut it cut from here open uh, open a word document okay so let me scroll down I want to open a word document so open a word document and paste it there so this is the pie graph of the height of boys uh, in number so what happens if you want to this in percentages okay so let me if I want the person uh, express in percentage so I will delete this now okay so I'll highlight this uh, cut it here and paste it here okay paste highlight this you can cut from here and paste it here hopefully the graph hasn't gone yeah so this is fine I want to express this as a person the same thing uh, highlight this got good insert and pie graph okay so this is again the pie graph of boys boys height in centimeters okay and I want the uh, right click on the dot graph right click and add label data label so this is 43 percent and so on okay so if you want to uh, make it a bit more go to layout okay insert click on this and go to layout or format design okay I'm not sure you can split this into different sectors okay uh, 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 format data series no this is not what I want so yeah if you want this in percentage I forgot how to do that and again if you want you cut it and paste it on the underneath it so that you have this is in this is in number and this is in percentage so you can see there are 43 percent of students in this range and 37 percent so this is in percentages and these are in numbers now you can do the same thing for girls uh, find and comp and then you can compare uh, the different groups